Howdy y'all, this is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms and welcome back to another video. Uh, we ought to have an interesting one for you today. Uh, today is the day that we're going to do all our ear tagging for our kids that we already have on the ground. I typically like to do our ear tagging as soon as the babies hit the ground or, or once they're up in nursing before they get really mobile uh, just because they're so hard to catch and the little boogers get fast quick. Uh, but some of those are over a week old now, so it's going to be interesting. Maddie's here somewhere walking around. Uh, she's going to help me catch the babies. We're going to ear tag them. Uh, we're going to be using two different kind of ear tags. Uh, I'll talk about these that I'm not happy with at all. Um, these are what the U.S. Department of Agriculture sent me. Uh, last time I got ear tags from them, they kind of look like a regular ear tag like these. Uh, but they were white this time they sent me these things and i cannot find an applicator uh, at least in our local area that um works on these i've been to track supply a couple feed stores haven't found any uh, online you can hardly find anything uh, i think i found one but it was like 50 dollars for applicator i wasn't about to do that uh, so we're gonna try using these a different way uh, i don't know if you can see on the camera uh, right up beside that one right there. I drilled a little bitty hole and I'm hoping that my applicator uh, that I use on all my other tags, that little needle right there can sit in that little hole and then we can squeeze it through the ear. Uh, we're going to try it a couple times or at least once if it doesn't work. These things are probably going in the trash and I'll just order some tags and pay for them. Uh, but being that they sent me 80 of these, I kind of want to use them. They're free, so we might as well try to make use of them. Uh, but this year, I did order some tags for all our little does. We're going to be using these in our bucks because all our bucks are going to be sold. We're not going to keep any. We might keep one or two to raise out for a while. Uh, but all our bucks are going to be sold. Our females are going to have the opportunity to stay on the farm and uh, hopefully become mamas for us one day. And I want to be able to keep track of who belongs to who uh, for as their mother. So I know kind of their their lineage for as their bloodlines. Uh, but this year we're going to do something a little bit different. I order these tags off of Premier One Supply. I'll leave it in the link. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Uh, but these are the Q-Flex 3s. Uh, you can customize them. Uh, this, this has got my my farm ID number on it. And I started out the count a little bit different this year. Typically, I just go one, two, three, and, you know, we're all the way up to, I've been through about 80 tags through the years, uh, through our free tags for the, through the U.S. government. Uh, so this year, I had to order some tags. I'm going to start something else with my, my numbering system. And that is, uh, so say the, right here, we got 2020. A 2022 baby, being that first number is going to two, then you're going to have a zero, and then that's the 20th baby born on the farm. I hope that makes sense to you. I did it that way uh, just so I don't think I'll ever have a goat that's on the farm longer than 10 years. So 32 comes and roll, rolls around. It'll be two again in the front, but I shouldn't have any other twos in the herd. And it just keeps me track of what baby was born, you know, in line, you know, the first baby through however many, many females we have. And I'll be able to keep track. I can just look at that ear tag, say, hey, that baby was born in 2022. It was the 20th baby born. So uh, just I watch a couple of cattle farmers on, on YouTube and uh, local cattle farmers around here. This is kind of the same system they use. Uh, so I figured I'd try it. I think it, it will work well. So eventually we might have multiple years in the herd, and I can look at every single one of them and tell them how to, exactly how old that baby is. So I'm gonna go find Maddie. She's wandering around here somewhere. We're gonna head up front, uh, see if we can start ear tagging these babies. We're gonna start, I've got a little cheat sheet of you know kind of the nickname that I have for each goat. Uh, so hopefully uh, we can keep track of it. Uh, I, do, I did write down their numbers already in the book uh, for what order they were born. So we're gonna, we're gonna get at it. It might get a little interesting. We'll set up the camera. You're probably gonna see us chasing some babies. So. We'll catch them. We're going to get them ear tagged, hopefully, and uh, it's going to be be a fun afternoon. So I'm going to go ahead and apologize. There is going to be some background wind. It's super windy here today. Uh, we're just going to be out in the middle of the pasture, so there's nothing really to block the wind. Might see if we can set up outside of it. Uh, but Maddie beat me up to the pasture. I'm going to walk up there real quick. Got my little cheat sheet, kind of the nicknames I have for all the goats. 
and we're gonna see if we can match up the babies that might be the most challenging part most of these babies look a lot alike and they they all came so fast within like a week you really didn't get time to to focus on one and and kind of get used to it and know what it looks like uh, so there's a lot of babies i don't i'd have to stare at to make sure who's their mama and so this might take a little while uh, we're gonna see if we can get it done all right so kind of just what we're doing is maddie's bringing them up one at a time after we or two at a time in this case but once we see what mothers they go to some of them we know uh, but she's bringing them up i've tried out those little white tags with our applicator it does work uh, you just got to be kind of slow with it and make sure it works fine this doesn't hurt them too bad they think they feel it for about five seconds and they're off to the mom and they don't worry about it maddie doesn't like the situation but all we're doing is uh, underneath the goat's ear they've got several lines and that's pretty much a vein uh, you're just making sure you miss that you're going once you get it where you need to be go quick and release and they're out i always put my tags in the right ear uh, it's just how I've always done it, boys and girls. Uh, this year it'll be easier to tell the boys from the girls because uh, the girls are going to have that big yellow tag. But it's super windy up here. We're just going to put it on time lapse, time lapse, and work through these babies real quick. Uh, try not to stress these mamas out, and then we'll take you around and we'll show you the uh, new babies that we've had uh, since the last video. And this is actually two of them right here. These are actually. 100% uh, Kiko. These are the only ones that we've got that's 100% Kiko, the mom's Kiko. Uh, but we've got several other ones we'll show you whenever we get the tagging done. So I know one thing, I'll never do this again. This is miserable. <laughs> Trying to catch these babies and link them up to the moms. The moms are spread out all over the place. Some babies are up here, some babies are down there. Don't know who belongs to who. Uh, so it's kind of a slow process. I did have something interesting happen um, that I've never really seen before. I've got a young doe, uh, the one that you saw in our last video, give birth to a little girl. Uh, she's pretty baby, the mom was taking care of it good. But one of these does that aborted uh, a couple weeks ago, actually one of the ones I took to the vet, uh, she was claiming the baby and would not let the mom or any other goat next to the baby. Uh, so we went ahead and put her in this pasture over here. And actually I think we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get some feed and get all the goats called up, or at least the ones that uh, aborted, we're gonna go ahead and separate them because they're going to the cell in just a couple days. I'll go ahead and get them separated off uh, to make it a little easier when it's time to load them up early on a Monday morning. Uh, we'll go ahead and get them separated and uh, move down towards a catch pen where I'm gonna load them up. And uh, hopefully we don't have to worry about this mama trying to claim uh, somebody else's baby anymore. But Maddie's on the way with another one. Let's go ahead and get another ear tag in. We're about halfway done. We haven't really filmed all of it. Just as we've been running around the pasture trying to match up mamas and catch babies. Uh, these, these little babies are moving quick. All right, time to try to work a little smarter than harder. We should have done this in the first place. Um, but we got all the mamas, most of the mamas inside here. We still got a couple out here, uh, but all those have been, all those babies have been tagged. We're gonna go ahead and start trying to sort out the mamas that we've already tagged their babies back into the pasture. And we're gonna sort the ones that are boarded uh, that we're gonna be culling and we're gonna send them to this pasture. Uh, see if we can dwindle it down to the last few babies that we have that we have no clue who they belong to. It's sad to say, but we don't know. It's too many of them. They all look alike too. Uh, so we're about to try to kind of work them a little bit, see if we can get these goats sorted off uh, where they need to be. Crazy. 
Go crazy. Oh, you locked that. <laughs> Probably didn't get that on camera. <laughs> but we got our five that are going to the cell separated out. We've got some of the other ones that we've already tagged the babies out. We're gonna try to dwindle down a few and then we're gonna get the rest of these babies up here that haven't been tagged and see who their mama is real quick. That baby up there is 43. So this is our first baby that was born. She's going good. She gets she's gonna get 2001, year 22, and then the first baby born. This is the one that mama tried to clean. Well, do y'all ever have those moments uh, that you know better than to do something and you do it anyways? That's pretty much how this went. I knew I should have had my ear tags earlier. I didn't. I knew that I should probably catch up the mamas, but I didn't. We tried and uh, it was very interesting. We got it all done though. Everybody's ear tag. We've got ear tags in now. We still got four mamas or that are about to kid any day now. Uh, so we've got ear tags for them already. We'll hit them when, as soon as they hit the ground and we won't have to do all this um, next time. Next year, we won't be doing all this either. I will say that a lot of time, young time mamas, if you disturb them right when they have kids, uh, they might walk up, walk off that from that baby 
or if you got a wild one, uh, they just might walk off from that baby. Uh, so it's best to, uh, you know, in my experience, wait a day or so to do those. Unless you're there in a small pasture, you make sure they're going to get matched back up. Um, but we're, we're in a small pasture. Most of my goats are, are pretty tame. Uh, most of them are used to us being out here at least. Uh, so I wasn't too worried about that today. All our babies are at least three or four days old. Uh, so they're getting around pretty well. That one circumstance with that um, a goat that aborted, trying to take over that other one, that was just a young mom that got pushed off of her baby for some reason. I'm sure that goat that aborted still got a lot of hormones going through her system. Uh, but those five are separated. They're going to be going to the sale here in just a couple of days. And uh, that'll be it. But I really appreciate y'all hanging out with us. That's about all I got today. Uh, we got everybody here tagged. Everybody's in the book. I haven't shown my book in a while uh, since my earlier videos. Maybe next video we'll show you that, um, what, how I keep track of uh, the goats and what kids they have year to year and kind of some things that I look for is in culling and things like that. Uh, but I really appreciate y'all hanging out with us. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and we'll see y'all on the next one. See y'all on the next one.